Hey everyone, here is a quick review of Logo Design Studio Pro by Summit Soft. But uh, before I start, if you have any specific questions regarding this software, Logo Design Studio Pro, feel free to put in the comment section below and I'll make sure to get, get back to you either with the comments or maybe I can make a new video for you just for that. And don't forget to f subscribe for updates. <laughs> Alright, now let's see uh, how the software look, looks like. Now I just started the um, software here and this is how it looks like right away when you start it. And you are presented with uh, te the template categories and a lot of pre-made um, templates as you can see here. And they have a, trust me, they have a lots and lots and lots of uh, templates which are pre-made you just have to uh, load it up and edit it, edit if you like some in particular or you can just make your own uh, up from scratch so this really nice software like I use it a lot for my websites blogs to ban make banners logos and even YouTube templates I mean YouTube uh, thumbnails and everything you can either double click either one of these um, preloaded templates and start like that or you can just go and start a blank logo from here. Just for this review, I'm going to go start up a blank logo project. All right, now we are in the interface here. So this is how it's um, uh, how the interface looks like for the uh, logos design studio pro. And you can still pull out that pre-made templates by clicking on the new logo here. If you click that, you'll be um, presented again with all these templates here so just for this review I'm gonna go select one maybe this one here I like this one so and I'll walk you through the process of making a logo from a pre-made template okay so first of all what uh, what you see is the um, interface like I mentioned and it's pretty pretty simple and straight straightforward thing what you see here are the objects you can pull out and use from and even in that section you, you've got a lot of categories from alphabet animals arrows banners brushes there are a whole lot of thing there and if you click one uh, you'll uh, again will be taken you can see how it loads here there's a lot of objects and elements you can add to search from and go from I mean go through all those and you can select one anyways so that's that and um, if by any chance like you just saw if you miss anything from here all you have to do is go back to view mode and click this object with disappear and disappeared and it will come back so that's that and the taglines are the pre-made taglines or slogans company slogans like you see here fresh from our oven to your door that's what the slogan is if you don't know what that is so all these taglines are here if you want to go from there so that's that and to your right side is the layers and advanced advanced tools where all you have all the sliders to work from if you select one of the objects or elements from the objects you can do all the slides and adjustments from there so I'll just get that get to that in a minute here alright so we'll start making uh, a logo so we've uh, loaded a pre-made template uh, from the categories and this is how it looks like so we'll do go ahead and do some editings so what I want to do now is to uh, change the name here. So I'm going to t change the nectar part. Uh, for to do that, I'm going to double click that, and this text field will come up. And I'm gonna go type in my website name, trueonlineriches.com, and click OK. And there it is. So now I'll have to, what I'll have to do is. To, okay another thing is always make sure you grab a letter or an element um, in the selection or or else you'll not be able to grab hold of that you can see here if I grab somewhere in this white space here you'll know you you'll, you won't be able to grab it always make sure you grab either the letter or the element or a picture or something like that so now I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the shift I mean I'm going to put the cursor here and hold the shift key so that it won't you know go out of proportion or anything and bring it back to the canvas here and resize, resize it oops 
there it is again and I'll make it a little bigger here and there it is so that's that I've got the name right and arrange there so if I want to uh, change the font you, you've got the fonts here uh, let's see we'll go to where is it uh, Sigo there you go I like that one so I'll put that there and maybe a little bit lower okay so now we'll change the tag again you have to click on a um, letter there to get the thing selected and double click on that again um, oops okay there it is so my tagline would be perfection first um, oh sorry not perfection <laughs> progress first and perfection will follow okay <laughs> I got my own tagline wrong there at first anyways you guys got the idea alright I'll make it a little smaller here I think 73 that's too much let's see 64 maybe 48 no that's too small anyways I got that one okay so that's that's good there so and I again have to grab the letter and there it is so I've got my name and tagline there now we'll go to the picture here <laughs> Okay, another thing I want you guys to um, look at is to learn how to group things. Like if I want to change this and if I want to move this entire um, entire picture here and if I grab this green thing here and move, only the green thing will move. And even the outline for that will still stay there. You see how that works? So I'll undo that. And to do that, what you'll have to do is if I if I need to move the entire picture here, I'll have to select the whole thing and go to group and group it now it has become a single picture now I can move it wherever I want to and I would like to move it to the center there and I'm gonna make it a little smaller oh no maybe I'll what I'll do is I'll make it over to that side alright that looks good maybe a little bigger well I'm uh, doing the changes here I'm holding the shift key so that I won't um, make it into a different shape well I'll just show you without the shift key if I do it without the shift without holding the shift key it'll do that but if I want to do it with the shift key on see how it goes if I want to uh, change it somewhere else it won't allow me to so always keep in mind just make it your um, you know when, when you get used to it you'll you'll know it better anyways yeah that's one thing I want you guys to remember always group pictures when you bring it from the objects here I'll show another example just in a minute so we've got that right okay again when if we want to give it some effects what you'll have to do is let's go change the color for this thing first uh, for the name so I'll go ahead and do the color here change color you can pick one color from here or you can click more color and go from there so maybe we'll go with that I like blue but it doesn't match very good does it how about that yeah maybe that'll go okay I like that so we'll go with this one so I've got the picture right uh, with the right size and right placement and I've got the name here and the tagline now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to effects place and I'm going to go do a drop shadow see that that gives it a punch to the name there and also you can uh, change the opacity for the um, <coughs> excuse me the drop shadow and you can change the directions uh, I'll go with that and the depth I don't want to go too far okay that's just right and you can make the no I mean 
give some noise there but I'll keep it to zero and you can change the softness I'll go with 0.4 that's good and I'll just leave the tagline just like that because I, I want the um, name to pop out and maybe I'll go uh, give this a drop shadow too let's see how that looks okay that that looks good that looks just good maybe yeah that's that's good all right I'll go with that so we've done that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a an object uh, behind all this so we'll see how to do that we'll go to shapes and see how it loads up there's a lot to load up that's one good thing I like about this you have a lot of options to choose from um, I'm gonna go with this one so just double tap that I mean double click that and it'll appear here okay now okay I'll get rid of that okay so see how uh, how many small elements are that they're in that single picture if 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 I grab hold of one and move it just that single object is gonna oh no this one came together anyways well that's good but usually it comes in different form so make sure it comes um, in a single picture just to make sure I'll go group them there you go so when you group it you can see how the uh, thing changes the outline for that changes so now I, I can grab that and hold on to shift key and enlarge it so I'm gonna okay now I want this picture to be behind all these other pictures and my name and tagline see how the um, first pictures the orange and is that orange I don't know okay orange and green thing is now at present is behind the big picture here so what you'll have to do is click that and select that and go to front bring front so that's now in front of that big picture there now what you what I'm going to do is to select that big picture and go to advanced tools and bring the opacity down and maybe a little bigger I'll do that without the shift key now all right yeah that's better I like that anyways this is not the best logo out there but it serves the purpose of a review all right so I like that one so how does that look now so we started from a preloaded templates and edited that and this is how we ended up with now we'll go export this um, logo now so before that if you want to take a look at uh, different things you can insert different sh shapes and objects and pictures if you want to um, grab a picture from your computer you can do that and you have different uh, you know tools to draw like to draw lines and all, all those things and if you want to do another text you can put it here and if you click here click on the canvas it'll come here and color we've already gone through this the same things are here too you can pick the color you have a color picker here and the RGBs opacity offset all those good stuff are over to here to that one and effects you have outer glow drop shadow bevel blur emboss and all those things are over to the effects part and to change the shape I mean uh, size of this canvas you can enter it here if you want to and you can change the color here of the um, canvas and if you wanna uh, make this transparent all you have to do is click transparent here see how the um, white background went to check marks if that's correct check marks I don't know anyways that's that will I um, export it as a transparent background if you ever want to do that you can do that too and if you like I mentioned before if you miss one of these things see layers if I accidentally uh, closed closed it out and if you want to if I want to pull it back all you have to do is come to the view place and click on the advanced tools and layers oh yeah and <clears throat> I didn't mention about layers did I so here are the layers just in photo like in Photoshop if you have ever used Photoshop 
well it's not as advanced as that as that but this is a simple program any newcomer or beginner can use and it's really nice software here all right so that said that's pretty much it and now we'll go ahead and click on logo here and export and this software can export into different standard formats and you can go to PNG, BMP, JPEG, TIFF, uh, GIF, w WDP and <clears throat> all those things excuse me but if you want to go with the transparent background logo I think you can only do that with PNG um, but this offer is updated really they're doing a really good job with the updating this uh, when it came out first it had a lot of flaws and a lot of um, bad bugs and stuff like that but they have made a good updates and now it's almost perfect and I liked it I like this software a lot use it a lot okay oh yeah here you can even they have written it I don't see that use PNG when you need smaller file sizes with no loss in quality transparency is supported there you go okay so uh, you click next and it'll export uh, your logo and I'll usually leave it like that and you can just um, tell it where you want to save it and it will save now if you're looking to uh, looking at buying the software you can use my link for discount like uh, it's, a, it's my affiliate link by the way and it doesn't uh, cost you any extra money but you will actually get a discount and obviously I get a small com commission out of it so you can check my link I've put it in the description so make sure you go check that out to get the description and uh, it, get, it lets you download the software instantly to your computer so anyway it's that sad and uh, just click export and oh I'll put the name test logo and I'll just browse it to put it in desktop okay and click export okay image created successfully I'll bring that image over here no, no okay there it is alrighty so this uh, you've just got a high resolution um, logo and you can even use this uh, actually this comes out as vector if you know what that means you can you can even print bigger larger sizes of um, you know canvas so there it is guys so there is the review of logo design studio pro by summit soft and make sure you subscribe to my channel for any updates and if you have any questions or if you know uh, if you don't know how to do certain things just put it in the comment section below and I'll be sh I'll make sure that I'll come up with either comments or uh, I can even make new videos for you guys if you want to and see you in the next video bye